identity is like a slippery eel gliding through our lives. Elusive, sometimes hard to grasp, yet vital for the soul. I was born in Kenya on May 1st, 1946. A good socialist date planned by my parents, Jewish refugees who arrived in 1942 and started a cattle farm on the plains of Maasai land. For 60 years, they worked against hunger, poverty and disease in Africa. Princess Elizabeth and her husband are always at home and sure of a tremendous welcome. I take this oath to fight for our land and freedom against the white man. At the Uhuru Stadium, the Articles of Independence were handed by the Duke to the country's Prime Minister. We were subjects of the British Empire, Jews in a British colony, whites in an African country. I said, it took about 20 years before we became just foreigners, not bloody foreigners. What if you live in a country bisected by an imaginary line? Do you step over it? Where does identity begin? Where does allegiance lie? I wanted answers to these questions. So I crossed that line and traveled to the old countries of my parents, to Poland and Romania, to find clues to many mysteries. <laughs> Family legend says we are descended from the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidic Judaism. How did we get from such orthodox roots to this? We non-believers, we children of Africa, my sister, myself, and my brother. And I also feel rooted here, but that's mm. different from having roots. And that's how I've identified myself, but I don't have any cultural identity or ethnic roots or, or ancestral roots. I don't had remembered my Hadaweche life completely. Am I Jewish? That's a very difficult question to answer. Having studied so many African cultures, I do feel more at home with, with their religion and their spiritual beliefs. So no, I don't feel very Jewish. Have we lost layers of identity or merely added to our multicolored coats? This is my life, this is my understanding of African custom and behavior and religion. Come, join me on this thrilling journey of exploration. If we're very lucky, we might find some answers echoing in the African sky.